Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Bulgaria. Let's continue off for last off. So we tried to invade England. It didn't go so well because they have about 150 divisions and I think they're all on the British Isles. So I don't really know how we're going to realistically land in the, like, how we're going to land there. That seems almost like an impossibility at this point. And also most of our ships are sunk by, uh... Wait, what happened? See, okay, see, this is the issue here. That this is not supposed to be... I mean, it, it's kind of cheating, I will admit, but... I can't occupy... Like, I can't... There's no occupy territory. There's only core and transfer states. So, you know, if I could theoretically... Um... If I could have theoretically have just occupied this territory, like I would have, but this is just broken and makes no sense. I'll give all the territory in England or in um Britain down here. Or this is not Britain, this is Africa. I'll give all this territory to the British. I mean if anything, it should actually go to Venezuela. But Not like, actually, I'm going to give it to Venezuela, just because, you know, the British don't actually deserve it. They didn't do any of the work. It was all Venezuela, and I'm assuming probably also, um... I mean, Colombia probably helped out as well, but it doesn't really make a huge difference, I think. Just mark all of the states. Mark, 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 mark. Transfer those back to Venezuela, because, you know, Venezuela's got, like, a nice little colonial empire now, which is beautiful. Again, I, it sucks that this is how it had to work, but I had no choice in the matter. I didn't want to recapture all the territory for no actual reason. Just because the French Republic capitulated. And I'm guessing this is actually because I annexed France, which was the war leader. So, okay, well... I made things a little bit strange, I will admit. So you guys can take all these states. Well, not all of them. You don't get these areas. That's going to go back to, um... Austria. So end our turn here. Um, Austria. You can have back down here in the south. And then I will take the Batian Commune. Yeah, like, we're so still at war with this guy. Are we also still at war with you? We are. But it's not considered... No, oh, no, no, they are still considered part of the Third International Faction. Okay. Oh, I also own all this territory now. Which I didn't really mean to own. Again, I guess it might as well go to the British. We'll just say that, you know, that's... Kind of what happened. I mean, it's a very strange situation. I mean, this is in court, right? And I didn't give it as a core. No. So, let's release some territory. Uh, the fate of Spain. Catholic brothers. I mean, we're not even Catholic, right? We are... Aren't we Orthodox? I think so. We can partition the Spanish mainland. You know, let's do that. Let's partition Spain. I don't think I've ever actually done this option before, so let's... Uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, the fate of Portugal. Liberate a kingdom of Portugal. I mean, we're a kingdom, right? I believe we're a kingdom, so... I think that makes sense. Liberate the Dutch. And there we go. Why are you called the commune? I have no idea. Excuse me? I'm not gonna partition France. Normandy. Occitania. You know what? Let's, let's partition the French as well. I thought I was going to, but now I've changed my mind. So apparently that's considered uh, the Batian Commune. I don't know why, it just kind of is. Okay, so you guys don't have a battle plan right now.
You are all just going to sit in this beautiful province. I think we have to invade basically with our entire army. So I think all of you essentially have to be on this invasion. Actually, no, okay, which army is this one then? You all go over there. Okay, who actually is missing troops then? You are for a naval invasion, so we're going to put you here. There we go. So, it's going to take a while for us to even think about doing another naval invasion. But it's going to take a long, long while. And, I mean, our fracture is still looking okay. We do need more tungsten, which we can probably get from one of our puppet states, I would imagine, at this point. Um, we'll get it from the Greeks. We'll get it from the Spanish. That seems fine. So, we do have all this territory down here. Um... The fate of Southern Wallonia. Let's liberate Wallonia. Let's liberate Luxembourg. I don't know why it's called the Commune, but, you know, we're not even going to worry about it. I'm sure it's fine. So, let's return the... F like, who, who actually... This is, um... Okay, well... Mark states... Mark state. We'll give that back to France. I mean, it's, it looks like a bit of a mess, I will admit. Apparently, they give France gave back to Germany. Why would you... I mean, I guess... You don't technically have a core here. Mark state. Transfer. Mark state. Core. Don't give it back. I mean, also kind of like weaken... I feel like Germany should be weakened as well. I'm going to transfer this territory to Poland, because they've actually been, like, kind of an ally to us. Mark State, Mark State, transfer. Beautiful. I mean, it makes sense. You know, we can, we should have weakened Germany after, uh, we beat them in a war anyways. The alternative doesn't really make that much sense. So, what can we do? Liberia exists? Okay, apparently I forgot maybe to get that up, but that's fine. So we got a bunch of good countries over here, all part of the Adin Pact. It's a bit of a mess, I will admit. So what... What can we do? Because the British Navy is extremely, extremely... Like, they have 500 ships right now. How do we... I, I have what? Right now, I have 18 boats. Russia's 141. Did my troops ever land down here? They did. Why did I send this many? That's a great question. Um, I only need to send like one division, so... Because again, they don't have any troops. I mean, where are you guys? Where are you going? Okay, but there's no port there, because the, the, the United States is taking basically all the ports. I gotta make sure just that they can defend this port long enough that I can actually do something. Oh, you have, oh, you're exiled? How about you just, like, make your way over here? Yeah, where are you going? Stay, stay where you are. Please and thank you. How long till you actually get all the way up there? Probably a while, I would imagine. Oh no, yeah, I guess actually there is a land border. Barely a land border, but there is technically one. Let's do a naval. Uh, let's get some H generation. I, I don't think it's very good. And so the British have landed a lot of troops over here in Ireland. What is the Hamburg situation? Hamburg situation is completely okay. Okay, so... Fallback line here. 
I just, I just really don't see a way we can navally invade Britain effectively. Basically, only attack port provinces. Uh, this battle plan, uh, I also need to edit that because it's going to land at a bunch of provinces that actually don't do much for us. So just land in those two ports and try to see if you can get something to work. But... I mean, actually stop. You just sit back because our allies are already here. You'll be ready in another 10 days, and maybe then we can try, because we're basically just going to attack them with, how many men are here? 14, we're going to attack each port with 7 divisions. I mean, I probably should be training marines, but again, I don't really actually have manpower. My cap is 29%. We got about 4% more manpower left to go until we're completely capped out. I'm sure you're going to be ready to go, like, the minute you get there. And you, you should be good. Like, as soon as you get to the province, just go. Because, again, you don't have any men. You have no troops, so you should at least capitulate. I, I hate that I have to be here. But, okay, anybody who's on these front lines can actually just go, like, all of you can just go back to Europe. Um, to that army, I'm assuming? No, but it still works out fine. How long for you actually get to that province? It's going to take you 10 days and you have to slowly walk and deal with all of Ecuador. So, I mean, our alliance is looking pretty good. It's just that we're getting to a point. Apparently, Siam's down here. We're getting to a point where actually doing naval invasion is going to be incredibly... There's, no, there's nobody here. Like, we need to land in Britain. But that's difficult, because they have, like, a hundred goddamn divisions. And they have, like, 150 divisions just in Britain. And that's not including all their capitulated allies. Uh, Sweden and Italy probably have troops there. Ireland probably has troops as well in the area. So Britain has about, like, 100, 110 divisions. They've lost 1.8 million manpower. They are on all adult serve... No, they also have a requirement, they have like a million manpower, so... So you need to see the North Sea. And, again, we kind of don't... Okay, delete all orders. But now there's more ships here. Oh, now there's not, okay. So, I mean, as soon as there's no ships at all, they can go. It doesn't even matter if the situation changes. Like, if the AI spent all their navy here... I don't think it matters, because as soon as they leave, it's good to go. Which is a bit broken, I will admit. It doesn't make any sense. So you go here, take those city, take that city. And I think that more or less should be fine for you. I don't really think... There's much else there. It's just... It's, it's Ecuador. It's not that big of a deal. So we got the United States... I mean, can you attack the international? Is that a thing like you can actually do in your tree? I don't know. Well, let's get some more war support because we can, more or less. We're training up. Oh, the German army is now being trained up. Excellent. We'll sign you here. Go to wherever you need to actually be. Ecuador has a troop. The situation has changed. Uh, you are going to go to here. I'm guessing to deploy the troops because they had nobody really to defend. But if we have two, we should still be fine. You guys go all the way up north. That's okay. Actually, except for you two. We're going to deploy over here. Again, better safe than sorry. Apparently, I also own these islands in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know why I do. Okay, let's see if we can break our way through. And as soon as we have, like, some sort of foothold, I would like to basically ship all of my army. Like, how many men do I have? I have 219 divisions. So I can send all 219 divisions to England in one fell swoop. That'd be beautiful, of course. 
So essentially, this entire 30 stack, you're all going to go here. So make your way up there like ASAP. Chili's capitulated, but that's okay. It's actually not that big of a deal. I mean, I'm glad I actually managed to get the troops up here. That's always nice. Just defend these ports, ship 200 divisions straight into the British Isles, and hopefully that can uh, get us somewhere. The United States are here, but again, they don't actually do anything. Um... Okay, we've got some Russian ships. I have no idea what they're doing. I'm gonna force attack in Newcastle. It looks like the Russians are sending troops up here. It looks like the British are sending a lot of men to the far north. And if they're up at the north, that means they're not gonna be in the south. And of course, this invasion plan. Yeah, just go whenever the opportunity actually arises. I don't know when that will be. Yeah, so the Brown Army's arriving. Newcastle is still under siege. Exile divisions. That's okay. Just get your way up to this port. It'll all resolve itself eventually. If I just come kill you, like, are you actually just weak? No, I mean, you're a motorized division, but... I would prefer to have some reinforcements there just to, uh... Make things run a little bit smoother. Okay, so we're going to send another entire army up to the front. You were these guys, so you're going to move up now. I mean, you probably should be wanting to move the guys closer to the sea already up first, but... I'm sure it's actually fine. Uh, you can probably have, like, three more divisions. We're gonna put one... Yeah, two guys up there. That should work out at least somewhat okay. Uh, get a battle plan ready. And you're essentially, your battle plan just move south. I, like, what else could I really effectively make you do? You guys are gonna push your way down to Wales when the opportunity comes. So we do got, I think some Russian troops maybe are starting to show up. I mean, they're, they're moving around the area. And they have a superiority of 7%. Not the best, I will admit. This plane's already obsolete. We don't need to be there anymore. Um, You guys. From here... Because these two areas are apparently are safe. Let's get another invasion going. Ten divisions there. Whenever, again, the opportunity arises, you just do it. Oh no, their battle plan was that. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. Whoops-a-daisy. I mean, how close are you to winning? You're very close. Can I? I'm gonna force attack a second time, just to make sure I definitely land troops onto uh, into a new castle. But I think this is gonna be a good time to end this episode. So thanks very much for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, hit a thumbs up. If you not enjoyed, hit a thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.